What's going on guys, Angel here, welcome back to Whiff of This. This is where I check out new and old fragrances, I unbox them, get my first impressions, and review them. And today I'm gonna to be checking out the house of Prada. This is Prada Lone. 3.4 ounce or 100 milliliters. I really like the bottle. I actually remember buying this fragrance in Macy's. The lady got me, she got me to buy it. It wasn't like she was pretty or anything. Um, but she was like, all oh, the ladies are gonna love this fragrance. And I actually, didn't really care what she was talking about, but I really liked the way it smelled. And it was a really good deal. I remember having a Macy's gift card and it was like $50 off on top of like another coupon. And it only cost me like 75. It does retail for $95 currently. And I think I actually bought the gift set for this. Let me zoom in a little bit, just to let you all see the bottle a little bit more. It's a really nice looking bottle, very classy, this nice, uh, it has these nice uh, texture on the back here. Prada logo is also etched inside that black texture. Then on front here, it has Prada. The top also says Prada. And then on the bottom, it just shows the information. But like I said, when I opened this fragrance up, I was like, man, this smells good. And I mean, you can literally tell I've used pretty much halfway of this fragrance right now. I've gotten countless compliments on this fragrance. It lasts literally forever once i spray it i'll spray maybe like four to five sprays and that's all you really need it lasts eight to ten plus hours especially if you spray this on like clothes i've like worn clothes for like an hour hung it back up in the like in my closet and like days later i still smelled it it was crazy it's an eau de toilette too and it still lasts a long time as far as the notes in here you're gonna have it's this nice fresh fragrance it smells so good you pretty much could wear it year round. It's great for the summer months for sure because it's just this nice airy fresh fragrance, powdery fresh fragrance. It looks like it was released in 2016 and the notes in here are gonna be iris, amber, neroli, geranium, as well as patchouli. And again, I love that patchouli. Patchouli and vetiver are some of my favorite like notes and fragrances or ingredients that they use to make these fragrances. Uh, I love vetiver and that the citrus note that goes so well together. It's just this nice soapy type of fragrance. In fact, I've gotten both grown women, grown women, and then younger women actually have com complimented me on this fragrance. It's, it's a solid fragrance to have in your house, honestly. If you, if this one, I would definitely say to, I would say you might have to be a little bit more mature or have a mature nose for this one, just because you may not like it just because it's a little too powdery for you and it can come off a little, you know, maybe fem feminine a little bit, but not too much for me. Honestly, this is a great fragrance to have um, once you've kind of smelled a lot of other fragrances and you're like, you know what, I wanna try something different. Check out Prada Loam. I can see why somebody wouldn't like Prada Loam and I, I would definitely say go out and get like a tester for sure. Me personally, I do like the scent um, and it does smell good on my skin, but not everyone could probably wear this fragrance. So that's pretty much my review of Prada Loam. Let me know if you have it or what you thought of it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Until next time, you guys, peace out.